today we are here with the 2022 captain of badminton, Bruce Guo. So Bruce, what was your first memory of playing badminton? Um, the first time I played badminton was back in 2013 when I was 8 years old. Um, me and my dad, we went back to his hometown in Xiamen. Um, he took me to a badminton hall uh, that he used to play badminton with his friends um, after school and we played for a few hours. Um, I wasn't the best but um, it was really fun so when I came back to New Zealand I decided to go um, and go to a holiday program for badminton and that's where the whole thing started. That's great and following on from that, where do you see yourself going with the game in the future? Um, while I don't see myself playing badminton prof professionally or like making a career out of it, I do want to keep playing at university. Um, so I'll join any club that they have available and um, after university I'll also just try to keep playing casually every once in a while so I can also catch up with friends who uh, I met by playing badminton. Awesome. And what do you think the strengths are of the team this year? Um, while our team is um, very strong individually, um, we also have been playing with or against each other for many years now. Um, this means that not only do we, uh, not only will we play really well together in doubles, but there's also some a kind of team spirit um, that's instilled in us um, on and off the court. Nice. And do you have any plans for when you graduate grammar? Um, yes. When I'm graduating grammar, um, I'm planning on studying dentistry at an Australian university, like my sister and my dad. And before being in badminton, were you in any other sports teams? Um, while I did not uh, join any teams in Auckland Grammar, I did play a lot of sports back in intermediate and primary school, um, such as football, tennis, uh, water polo, and I also did competitive swimming up until the third form. Do you take any other extracurricular activities? Um, yep. The only other extracurricular activity that I take is being a mathematics mentor. Um, so that involves um, helping the third and fourth formers who are trying to compete in mathematics, which is a mathematics competition. Um, so I normally just um, supervise practices, supervise tests, and also give them advice on how to um, do well in the competition. And finally, how are you finding the balance between your sport and academic study? Um, at my tenure at Auckland Grammar, it's been a struggle having to juggle both my academic and my sporting side of things. Um, but this year, since it's my final year, I've decided that I'm, I'll be spending more time on studying um, in order to get into a good university that I want to go to. Thank you, Bruce, for coming in today and telling us about the team you lead at Grammar, and we best of luck for the future. Thank you for your time.